Okay. So, this clearly not real because it's an right. ant's house. This feels like it could actually be real. Could be, yeah. So, now everything's just all mixed up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think too. Oh gosh. There is water in the sink. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown tiny monsters in there. Hmm. Or maybe he's just a very clean ant. <laughs> 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 oh, look inside. The queen... Oh, oh my. Oh, my. The queen of Antonio. Meat. Wow, ant queen. I never saw anything like this. <laughs> Someone forgot to clean the brush. It's firmly attached to the door. Old people are so fun. They do unexpected things. <laughs> Let's axe that off. Okay, never mind then. Ooh, glue. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. Oh, of course. Combine that. Good, good. And where should I paste it? Under the door. We have a door now. Maybe we can use that on the well. Mmm, tea time, sir. Mm -hmm. Um, what is this? Underpants? They smell good. Grandpa soap. <laughs> so this means the big ant was naked? Oh. <laughs> uh, this is odd. I thought ants never cooked their meals. <laughs> but then again, I'm all confused and he is not an ant. <laughs> Wait, what? He is a man that looks like an ant. But no, he must be an ant. <laughs> huh. That's also very interesting. That she would be thinking, like, no, he has to be a person, even though he looks like an ant. Yeah. Wait, what? No. I don't want you to do that yet, because that looks like it does something. What a cozy little lamp. Okay. Meat. Even if I want to take the meat, I can't reach it. The meat won't come down. I have to go up. If Mr. Midnight were here, he would climb on them. Yeah, okay. And a tiny little house. <gasps> With pinecone people. Yes. They have the berries. They have berries? The blueberries. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> sir, you look so angry. Your family is very nice, Sir Pinecone. But you are a really scary guy. Let's take the meat. I want that meat. Yay, got meat. You wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for those who hunger. But I thought he... Didn't he say he needed meat? Um... That's why he doesn't mind you killing his buddy? I think that... Or is this meat, like, not enough? I think that if you use the pills, you can use the meat. Oh, okay. I should sleep with my kitty on this bed, but I think that under the blanket would be a lot of creatures, like bugs and such, that would like to eat my brain. Like those. Ew. Because he has a okay. bag. So now, at this point, the pills are actually helping her see the real world, and, like removing her delusions. It appears so. Before they were making her hallucinate. Now they're actually helping her to see the real world. That is my assumption from this one room at least. That's what it seems like. You this tiny could creatures. Be made up too. Yeah. Get off the bag, I want it. Did you eat that man's flesh? That is repulsive. I mean this could be made up, but this feels very real. Yeah. So I have, to, I have to get the ants off of the meat. And, okay. She went inside of an anthill to get here. I don't think she's really inside of an anthill. No, hill. but That'd I'm saying, possible. like, no, in her mind yeah. it was an anthill. Yeah. So, like, in the real world she sees all these ants here. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is a huge anthill. Yeah. Oh my goodness, a pest exterminator. And he's dead. Sir, you have tons of ants on you. I think they're trying to steal your bag. <laughs> Can I... What is this? Is this just an anthill? I think it's just eggs. Eggs? Yeah. Ugh. Let's see if this will work. With ants. Wow. I didn't know ants did that. Ew. I thought they just, like, went for sweet stuff. It worked, and now the bag is mine. Let's get out of here. I'm just gonna pretend those ants aren't here. <laughs> La-dee-da-dee-da. bag shows an anti-bug sign. <laughs> the bag is open. Oh, a rat trap and some sort of cart. A rat trap. I have to be careful not to trap my fingers. I've done that before. It really hurts. Ouch. Exterminator. 
What does that say? John Flamet. 714-21728. It's not a real number. Oh, yeah, it is a phone number. Something bugs around. We kill. Okay, so it's just a faded uh, business card. Well, you have John Flamet, 714, old-timey phone number. Yeah. Uh, the text is almost gone. It says exterminator. Poor tiny monsters. That bug looks seriously mad. Huh. Okay. Let's go back to the pinecone people. Uh, are you the mama? Wow, you're very rare. <laughs> Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Don't be scared, I just want some berries. You don't like me taking your berries. Hey, baby Pinecone. Oh no! Uh, what did I do? You oh. knocked him over. <laughs> <laughs> don't fall off the chair, be careful. <laughs> I think that that's the way you can yeah, distract her while you get the berries. comes your mommy to the rescue. Fran's enjoying this now. Okay. So I have to distract him first. Yeah. So let's try trap trap because I just got this. There it is. So that seems useful. So now you can knock the baby over your head. Ah, I got you. Sorry, sir, but I really need the berries. And then she gets mad. But you gotta knock. Yeah. Yeah. I think you click more on it. There we there. go. Yes, yes, I got them. They smell delicious. Oh. Oh. Huh. Did they kick me out? They locked yeah, the they door. <laughs> <laughs> Special blueberries for the beetle pig, so I can kill it. Okay. Hello. Hi. She exists in both. Yep. <laughs> Did you see her wave? Yeah. Fran. That's cute. He's like, hi! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's murder something. Maybe. Here you go. Do you eat ate them? Did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight, just wait, don't die. I'll take you out of there real soon. You pig. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna take these real quick. Are there any bugs on the ground anywhere? Like, no, okay. I was just wondering, like, can I see the real beetle pig and real ant in this? Don't but see no. it. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it. All right, let's murder. Oh, no. He looks so happy, too. She <laughs> yeah, looks so, it aw. I, I immediately regret this. <laughs> um... I'd like my axe back. I'm very sorry, Mr. Beetle Pig. I wish I didn't kill you. But you're dead now, so you can't hear me. I really wanted to find Mr. Midnight. What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Uh, yeah. But where's Mr. Midnight? I assume that you are feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat, my lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. <gasps> that sounds like my cat. Really? My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that is cat is my cat. <laughs> oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Uh, I want to talk to Antonio first. Beetle Pig is dead now. Thank you. Now we eat. I can't. Just so you know, inside the beetle pig, there was no cat but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm so sorry. You see, my eyes are very old. I also have heart problems and a very bad back. <laughs> I also suffer from narcolepsy, and sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> he is sleeping. Good for him. Good night. <laughs> That change anything here? Nope. Okay. At least he's very polite, old man. He's like, "Oh, you killed my beetle pig, and there was the cat wasn't inside there. Sorry, that was my fault." 
Are you here, rat? You are. Huh. Rat, who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Okay. But no, like, shadow for the rat. No. Here we are. Oh, somebody took a miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed him. <gasps> He's in the well. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Alright. Um, excuse me, did you- Oh, yeah. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? That was the thing. Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it? Please? Alright, then, but can you please comb my hair first? Of course. Why not? Yes, I can comb your hair. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Look how happy he looks. Yeah. He's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. You are very kind. And I got a comb. Do you have any idea how to find my kitty? It depends, my lady. Have you looked around enough to find him? All I do... Oh, I don't want to be that depressing. Do you know the person who took my cat? Oh, my dear lady miss, I wish I could help you. But those who took your cat seem to be from another <laughs> world. Maybe they had, like, a portal that nobody else can see. Who knows? What is a portal? portal? A portal? What is a portal? A portal, Lady Miss. It's like a regular door, I think. I see. Thank you, Rat. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I like her little wave. <laughs> uh, can I do this? I want to... I want to try doing this. On there. This is really odd. My own door is locked. Arg. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. Arg, open. Why are you closed? I made you. I command you to open. I'm your creator. <laughs> 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 Alright, I guess I have to get the key now. Yeah. Which is weird, because they said it wasn't my key. It's not It's not my key, but it's to the door that I made? Interesting. Yes. All right, let's comb your hair. With long faces, Here's I just realized. Your beautiful comb, misters. I just realized they were yeah, called, called long, long faces, faces. and because they're yeah. Ah. They Aww. actually have another name though. Oh. They're a creature type. They're so happy, and she's happy too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you friend, the person you finally did it. Oh, they're like fireflies. Yeah. Hope the key opens the door you wish to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Huh. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. I'm really curious what Fran is actually doing right now that that is Flying meant to symbolize. Yeah, but like, <clears throat> she was combing the hair of fireflies? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> is it supposed to mean something or is it just a puzzle <laughs> that you have to solve? The golden key from the tree. Will the door be there if we're not in the... It is not. Okay. Alright. Let's use this key on our door that we made. Go even deeper. It worked! Woohoo! Woo! And down the well we go. The well that doesn't exist. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. So this is representative, I assume, of Mr. Midnight, are you here? Of, like, going deeper into her psyche. Mm. Oh, ooh. What? I don't know. Chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first curiosity, then double personality. Oh, what was Chapter 1 called? I don't know. It was pretty straightforward. Hmm. Oh, that's a cute hat. Hmm. I mean, it's a little creepy, but it's also cute. What is this? A hat? Don't keep it. 
Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head! Kitty? Wait just a second, this is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. Well, you were being kept S as the Kitty. Yeah. So, none of this is real anymore. <laughs> I went into a well that doesn't exist. And I... Okay. Now I'm here. Yeah, it's not great. I'm just curious, like, what is... Like, my thing still is, like, what's happening in the real world that is that she is seeing all of this? That is apparently something I can look at. I just want to see what this is. Okay, so I'm actually falling down well. a well. Yep. This is the real world right here. Well, close to the real world, I it assume. Looks like it. Yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, and that just brings me back here. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. Are they conjoined? Looks like it. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitten. I like their blue dress, though. <laughs> she had a blue dress. Branded. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Poor trees. <laughs> I wonder if they scream all the time while they are burning. Wow. Wow. Dark. <laughs> um, why is this part painted in black and white? Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. I guess everyone has different styles and tastes. There's a note there. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Huh? This is not home. I guess they thought I was a cat. They can't love me. They don't even know me. Hmm. Can't look at that. I won't lay down in that thing. I should try to get out of here instead. With my kitty, of course. Not by myself. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Yeah. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, a dry flowers. Huh. Nothing of interest. <laughs> Except the eyeballs. Are those eyes? Ugh. Maybe they like to see things, so they need more eyes. I have my pills. They make me see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the pills anymore. This. The pills aren't making you see this. This is. You're seeing weird things already. Hmm. <laughs> a head from a human, I guess. Skulls always look so happy. Maybe they haven't realized that they are dead yet. Yeah. Oh, I'll keep... Oh, we're just going to take that. Okay. <laughs> Cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. A cauldron to make yummy soup. Can I look at the window? I close the window so the cold wind stays out. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. Oh, so that's mm. going to be a puzzle. I'll leave that open for now. A cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to light matches, though. It always feels like it could burn my entire face. Wait. A painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. <laughs> How do you know the tea is painted? With lemon and honey! Okay, she is a very creative child, though. <laughs> I appreciate her. Ooh, I like those little honey jars. Yeah. Mmm, yummy cookies in all colors and flavors. Okay. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Flower makes me sneeze. That is a funny feeling. Oh. King Leo's baking soda. This always made the biggest cupcakes. Is that a reference to the uh, Kid King? Is that, Was his name Leo? No, his name was Damien. Yeah. Hey, it's a pine cone. A pine cone. I don't dare to touch it. Maybe it'll attack me. <laughs> like the mm. pine cone family. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> oh, a sharp, shiny knife. It can be good to have you. Yes, it can. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with her carrying Best that. Knife. To dry my little hands. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Okay? I mean, it could still be useful. Alright, we're going over here. Okay, so I'm still in the well. Interesting. 
Very interesting. Yes.